So we're actually going to get the secret ending in Sons of Liberty where you get to play a snake for the whole Big Shell incident. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Ryan. You had my hopes up. <laughs> if only it were a thing. No, now we get to play the good Metal Gear. Hmm. The best. Arguably. Two is, two is fine. No, two is fine. No, um, no attract mode for this one. No. Retract? Attract. Oh. The, you know, the little, like, trailer that plays if you don't hit anything. But you can do cool stuff on this, um, menu. You can control the mm -hmm. background with the analog stick. You can click it to change the pattern. Ooh, there's nothing. <laughs> and you could do this to change the color. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What an intro. It's good. <laughs> All right. So I think I actually started the game a little while ago, but uh, uh, we'll just do a new game. Uh, I like Metal Gear Solid 2. Yeah. What do you guys say? That's do you like fair. Metal Gear Solid 2? Sure. Ryan? <laughs> Great. Let's go with Metal Gear Solid 2. <laughs> Sorry, I was rearranging things. <laughs> well, you like Metal Gear Solid 2 now. World War II, do I? Split into two. <laughs> now you do now. West. Made the choice for you. The beginning of the era called the Cold War. Do you like your subtitle after MGS2? The fan base was split into two. <laughs> A lot of planes flying in the first like hour. I mean, yeah. Kojima enjoys his planes flying. Lori Allen, Brian Cummings. Jim Ward. Jimmy Mathis. <laughs> Flying over Pakistan, altitude 30,000 feet. Approaching Soviet airspace. 20 minutes to drop off. Commencing internal depressurization. Equipment check. Arm main parachute. All right, you ready to go? Drop zone still showing a high pressure mass. Cav okay. Good, we've got high visibility. One of the few times you see those models. Yeah. Put out that cigar. Connecting oxygen hose to interior connector. Put on your mask. Does this panty waist know what he's doing? Approaching release point. Ten minutes to drop off. Hey, are you deaf? He said put out the cigar and put on your mask. So dramatic. I know. What a panty waist. <laughs> Pressurization complete. Checking oxygen supply. Six minutes to drop off. Opening rear hatch. I just noticed it says Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater on there. Yep. Pretty cold. Yeah. You'll be falling at 130 miles per hour. Try not to get frostbite from the wind chill. One minute to drop off. Move to the rear. Activate bailout bottle. 
This is one for the history books. The world's first halo jump. Ten seconds to drop off. Stand by. Status okay? All green. Prepare for drop off. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Spread your wings and fly. God be with you. Because why not? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I think they explain why. I'm pretty sure I was referencing do. all the front flips that oh. he was having to do. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. given us the green light for the virtuous mission. Virtual mission? No, the virtuous mission. The future of our Fox unit depends on it. And he has hard time hearing. Organized in <laughs> virtuous mission. Sounds like some kind of initiation ritual. You know, don't get cocky. This isn't a training op. Right. So what exactly is this wonderful mission? Well, about two years ago... Oh, yes, yeah, stock footage. A certain Soviet mm -hmm. scientist requested asylum in the West through one of our moles. His name is Nikolai Stepanovich Sokolov. He's head of the OKB754 Design Bureau, one of the Soviet's top secret <laughs> weapon research facilities. I forgot about Sokol. <laughs> How could you? You don't know. The famous rocket scientist. The very same. Crew operatives. One <laughs> Soviets achieved the first manned space flight in history. The Earth was blue, but there was no God. Well spoken. The rocket that carried Yuri Gagarin to orbit was the A1. No, A1. No, A1. Oh. A stock rocket. Uh oh. Sokolov is said to be the man. <laughs> Most responsible for the A1. Was it the A1? Rocket. After Gagarin's flight, Sokolov left. Oh, that doesn't happen again. Don't know what that is. The head of the newly mm -hmm. established design bureau. From a lowly technician to head of a design bureau, that's quite a success story. So why do you want to defect? It seems he'd become afraid of his own creations. Afraid? Call it a crisis of conscience. And for that, he left his country and his family behind and went over the fence? Not exactly. One of his conditions was that his family was also to be taken safely to the West. He used a mole to get the family out first and succeeded in sneaking Sokolov over the Berlin Wall shortly afterwards. I was the one who conducted the operation. The security on the eastern side was still full of holes back then. Then what? We got Sokolov over in one piece, but the whole ordeal had left him exhausted and we checked him into a hospital in West Berlin. It took him two weeks and more than 600 miles to get from the research facility in the Soviet Union to Berlin. He was in no condition to say anything coherent. <laughs> it was only a week later that we had something much bigger on our hands. The Cuban Missile Crisis. October the 16th, 1962. President Kennedy received word that the Soviets were in the process of deploying intermediate range ballistic missiles in Cuba. The president demanded that the Soviets dismantle and remove the missiles. At the same time, he announced a naval blockade to prevent further missile shipments from reaching Cuba. But the Soviets didn't back down, instead placing their armed forces on secondary alert. Soviet transport ships carrying missiles continued on course towards Cuba. US and Soviet forces went on alert for an all-out nuclear war. Frantic negotiations were conducted through the UN's Emergency Security Council and unofficial channels to end the hair-trigger standoff. Finally, on October the 28th, the Soviet Union agreed to remove its missiles from Cuba. And so the world avoided a nuclear holocaust. But in order to get the Soviets to pull their missiles out, we had to make a deal. You mean the one where the U.S. agreed to remove its IRBMs from Turkey? No. The Jupiter IRBMs deployed in Turkey were obsolete, and we were going to get rid of them anyway. They had no strategic value whatsoever to either the U.S. or the Russians. The Turkey deal was a ruse, a cover story that was fed to the other intelligence agencies around the world. So what did the Russians really want? Sokolov. They wanted us to return... That sweet Sokolov ass. <laughs> the Soviets pulled out of Cuba just to get their hands on Sokolov? He's got a monocle. I mean, come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What the hell was he working on? 
At the time, we had no idea. We were running Turns out, out pants that say juicy on them. It's either give up Sokolov or <laughs> risk full-scale nuclear war. In the end, we had no choice. President Kennedy gave in to Khrushchev's demand. Be right back. The next mm -hmm. day, I got Sokolov out of the hospital, handing him over to agents on the eastern side. Sokolov kept on screaming, save me, until he disappeared from my side. Then a month ago, we received some new information from one of our moles. About Sokolov? Yes. No. He was taken ah. back to the research facility and forced to continue working Monty, on the weapon in actually. question under KGB supervision. <laughs> What's more, it's on the verge of completion. So what kind of weapon is it? Something to do with space rockets? No. Missiles. Same technology. I guess you're right. We don't know the details, but it appears to be a new kind of nuclear device. For half a year now, the Soviets have been conducting frequent nuclear tests at semi palatins Something to do with the weapon, I assume. We're talking about a secret weapon so big that Khrushchev was ready to pull out of Cuba to get it back. Is Sokolov still in the facility? No. According to our intelligence, he's in Selino Yask, a place in the mountains about three miles to the west that's known as the Virgin Cliffs. The Virgin Cliffs? Nice name for a virtuous mission. They moved him there just recently. Why? Apparently, they're conducting a field test of the weapon, but it's our best chance to get him back. This mission would never have been possible if he was still in the research facility. This is our last chance. Sokolov must have known that too when he contacted us. Is there a secret one here? I forget. Um. No. Listen up, Jack. Your mission is to Later on in the pod. In the Soviet mountains. Mm, okay. Safety of Sokolov and bring him back to the west. I mean, yeah, you can do that, but that's about it. Oh, there's a prompt for Sokolov it. Sokolov back before that weapon is complete. We'll be facing a major crisis. The clock is ticking. <laughs> Once we've confirmed the rescue circle, we'll stand by at the recovery Welcome point. Back. A recovery balloon will be dropped at that point. Helium will be pumped into the balloon to inflate it. The process takes about 20 minutes. Once it's complete, the gunship's arm will latch onto the balloon and pull it up. The Fulton surface-to-air recovery system. I'm familiar with the theory. Take it easy. It's been combat-proof. Do you think Sokolov is up to it? The shock will be less than during a parachute jump, and the arm can handle up to five. Yes, Dougie, pounds. snake eater. <laughs> so you're planning on going over the border in a single combat Hi, Dougie. Talent? She's equipped with two six-barrel 20 mm Vulcan cannons, as well as two 40 mm machine guns. Sounds like she could hold her own against a battalion of tanks. Even with the fuel in the reserve tank, we're facing a four-hour time limit. If all goes well, it shouldn't take more than a few hours. Home in time for dinner. But if anything goes wrong, you'll be eating dinner, breakfast, and all the rest of your meals in the jungle. I'm glad you're a fan of MGS2, Ryan. Oh, yeah. There you go. Loved it. <laughs> We're all fans of MGS2. I mean... God, I've watched Secret Theater so many times that I'm just like... <laughs> Secret Theater's the best fucking thing.
It's Jack. It's Jack. He's back. It's Ryden. Oh my god. Hi Ryan. <laughs> I'm back. He thought you can get rid of me. Uh, he so this, is sick. So this is the um, the camera they implemented in uh, Subsistence. Which is a fr uh, yes. third person camera. This is what the old game used to look like. Like top down. Everywhere. Um, let's give our folks a call. <laughs> Tark says, I thought Raiden wasn't in this game. Oh, wow. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> You're expecting something different? Now, go and find Sokolov and get him out of there. Oh, okay. I thought... Okay. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Do you copy? You're already in enemy territory. I already copied so earlier. Might be listening in. <laughs> From here on out, we'll be using code names to refer to each other. Your code name for this mission will be Naked Snake. I'll be referring to you as Snake from now on. You're not to mention your real name. Snake? What, you don't like snakes? What do you mean? Well, you've <clears> eaten <throat> one before, haven't you? In survival training. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. I don't know if I'd ever order one in a restaurant, but... Be careful, you might not have a choice. What about you, Major? What should I call I you? I also like Zero in this game, Tark. Let's see. I'll mm -hmm. be... I'll be Tom. Call me Major Tom. Oh, and Snake? Yeah. The crew isn't watching anymore. You can take off the disguise now. Good idea. This isn't right. <laughs> Time for the snake to shed his skin. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> they they know. Kojima knows. <laughs> They, they play around with that a little more later. Yeah, they do. Jack, are you taking in the leaves again? <laughs> I mean, snake, sorry. Can you hear me, Major Tom? This is Snake. Kept you waiting, huh? This will be a <laughs> sneaking mission. You must not be seen by the enemy. You must leave no trace of your presence. Is that clear? This kind of infiltration is the Fox Unit's speciality. In other words, weapons and equipment are procure on site. That goes for food as well. You're completely naked, just as your name implies. Great. Now I see why you asked me if I liked snakes. I suppose calling me Snake was your idea of a joke, too. No. There's a good reason for that. I'll tell you later when the time is right. Gotcha. Getting back to the subject, how exactly am I supposed to feed myself? You've been issued a knife and a tranquilizer gun. Use them to hunt for food. You'll also find some medical supplies in your backpack. Yeah, about the backpack. I lost it in a tree on the way down. I see. Well... You'd better go back and get it, then. You know where it is? No problem. I can see it from here. It's stuck on a branch. To climb a tree... Stuff happening with the video in this. I don't know. It's, it's a little stuttery. Yeah. I don't know. I'll be monitoring your progress over the radio. I'll check the disc after this stream. Yeah. Space, but I'll be in the gunship. My frequency is 140.85. I'll give you a call if I need to talk to you. If you need to talk to me, use the send function. Okay, Snake, go get your backpack. Go get your backpack. <laughs> One backpack, yeah, was... sir, coming up. <laughs> yeah, he was called Major Tom before he called himself Zero. Mm -hmm. Major Tom's a gun control. I don't know the words or the tune anymore. There's a grip meter. Mm-hmm. I don't know if there's grip levels, though. I thought there was. 
I see you've retrieved your backpack, Snake. No. To equip a weapon, it's necessary to take it out of your backpack. In the survival viewer, choose weapon. I would skip it, but they put other conversations your at the end of the tutorial, so. Will be displayed in a window in mm -hmm. the upper left. From that list, choose the weapon you want to equip and press the enter button. For other equipped items, just do the same thing from item. Got it. Use the survival viewer backpack. Yep, that's right. Survival is fundamental to this mission. After you've been out in the field for a while, your stamina will start to drop. If your stamina gets too low, it'll affect your performance. You won't be able to shoot accurately, for example, and your wounds won't heal as smoothly. Keep an eye on your stamina so you don't run out. To recover lost stamina, you can hunt for local flora and fauna. You can use either your tranquilizer gun or your knife. I hunt. remember being weapon is a, Mark a little overwhelmed by the, the thought of this, but then That's right. it's actually implemented all right. Yeah. Eating the food However, and stuff. The suppressor will deteriorate every time you fire. Yeah, it's Once not that bad. It came zero, pretty the easy. Yeah. Effect will be gone. So don't get too trigger happy with it. The suppressor's durability is shown in the icon. Any weapons and equipment beyond what you're carrying now, you'll have to find as you go. I have to find my own weapons and equipment? Whose crazy idea was this anyway? Yours. Solo covert <laughs> actions are standard Fox operating procedure. You can't leave any traces of your presence. No weapons, equipment, footprints, sweat, or bodily waste. The same goes for bullets and cartridges, too. Your presence in enemy territory is already a violation of international conventions of warfare. There aren't supposed to be any American soldiers in Russia. It could spark an international incident. You can't let anyone see you. You can't let the enemy know you're there. This is a stealth mission. No problem. You're a ghost snake in every sense of the word. <laughs> There'll be no rescue if you're captured. The military and U.S. government will deny any involvement in the affair. Then I'll just have to take care of myself, huh? I'm afraid so. You've been given a fake death pill for that purpose. SIS guidelines stipulate that soldiers on covert ops like this one be issued a potassium cyanide capsule. Tape it to your body so you can take it when you need to. How generous of you. I'm very you good at stealth tarks. Prisoner Thank by you. The enemy. <laughs> send you into a state of false death for a short time. Fooling them into thinking that I'm really Sometimes. So Sometimes I, I, mean... I handle the maps Just all right. take the revival pills. You mean that thing they put in my tooth before the mission? That's the one. But be careful. If you remain in a state of false death for too long, nothing will be able to bring you back. Remember that. I'll keep it in mind. You said this was a solo mission, right? Right. I guess that means I can't count on any reinforcements. Correct. The mission rests entirely in your hands. A real one-man army. Relax. There's a support team ready to back you up over the radio. Who? I'll introduce them to you. This time... Survival is of utmost importance. The first member of the support team will be in charge of monitoring your physical condition, acting as a medic, so to speak, as well as recording your mission data. She's a member of Fox as well, and she's here on the gunship with me. She? Hello, Snake. I'm paramedic. Nice to meet you. Paramedic? As in a medic who comes in by parachute. Aren't you going to tell me your real name? Are you going to no. tell me yours, Mr. Back Smith? to a good support team. Like yep. <laughs> yes. And they call you Jack for short. You're a regular Captain Nemo. A name means nothing on the battlefield. After a week, no one has a name. What's your name? Jane Doe. Very funny. I wasn't joking, but I'll tell you my name only if you manage to make it back alive. My frequency is 145.73. She's also in charge of recording your mission data. Whenever you want to save, send a message over the reserved save frequency. And she's an acrobat. And she's <laughs> So saving lets me record my mission data. That's right. It also records the state of your health. Good to know. There's one more person I want to introduce you to, Snake. Huh? Speaking of snakes, you remember the boss, don't you? A legendary mm -hmm. soldier and your mentor. Actually, it was the boss that got the DCI's authorization in the first place. She's going to be serving as Fox's mission advisor. The boss is? She also helped me plan this mission. She and I were at SAS together. Jack, is that you? How many years has it been? Boss? That's right. It's me. Pearl Crabs. <laughs> Talk to me. 
Let me hear your voice. It's been five years, 72 days, and 18 hours. You've lost weight. You can tell just by the sound of my voice. Of course I can. I know all about you. Really? Well, I don't know anything about you. What's that supposed to mean? Why'd you disappear on me all of a sudden? I was on a top secret mission. Hmm. You didn't need me anymore. But there were still so many things I wanted you to teach me. No, I taught you everything you needed to know about fighting techniques. I, I don't know if she's looked more like Bowie in the 3DS version. Your own. Techniques, sure. Huh. But what about how to think like a soldier? How to think like a soldier? I can't teach you that. A soldier needs to be oh, strong yeah, Bowie, in spirit, body, and technique. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. You can learn from someone else is technique. In it's fact, the cheekbones. Technique yeah. doesn't even matter. What's most important is spirit. Spirit Eyes. and body are like two sides of a single coin. Yeah. They're the same thing. I can't teach you how to think. You'll just have to figure it out for yourself. Listen to me, Jack. Just because soldiers are on the same side right now doesn't mean they always will be. Having personal feelings about your comrades is one of the worst sins you can commit. Politics determine who you face on the battlefield. And politics are a living thing. They change along with the times. Yesterday's good might be tomorrow's evil. Is that why you abandoned me? No, it had nothing to do with you. I already told you, Jack, I was on a top secret mission. A soldier has to follow whatever orders he's given. It's not his place to question why. But you're looking for a reason to fight. You're a natural born fighter, but you're not quite a soldier. A soldier is a political tool, nothing more. That's doubly true if he's a career soldier. Right and wrong have no place in his mission. He has no enemies and no friends. Only the mission. You follow the orders you're given. That's what being a soldier is. I do whatever I have to to get the job done. I don't think about politics. That's not the same thing. Sooner or later, your conscience is going to bother you. In the end, you have to choose whether you're going to live as a soldier or just another man with a gun. There's a saying in the Orient, loyalty to the end. Do you know what it means? Being patriotic. It means devoting yourself to your country. I follow the president and the top brass. I'm ready to die for them if necessary. The president and the top brass won't be there forever. Once their terms are up, others will take their place. I follow the will of the leader, no matter who's in charge. People aren't the ones who dictate the missions. Then who does? The times. People's values change over time. And so do the leaders of a country. I like to think the rest so of the no support crew just like in absolute terms. <laughs> Sitting back the like, enemies we fight whoa. are only enemies in relative <laughs> terms. Constantly getting deep. changing with the times. As long as we have loyalty to the end, there's no point in believing in anything, even in those we love. And that's the way a soldier's supposed to think. The only thing we can believe in with absolute certainty is the mission, Jack. All right. But do me a favor. What is it? Call me Snake. Snake? Oh, right. Your code name is Snake. It suits you well. That's right. The legendary unit that the boss put together it's during the corny. War II was a snake. <laughs> the Cobra unit. A group of heroes that brought the war to an end and saved the world. As long as you've got a legendary hero backing you up, you'll be fine. Isn't that right, Snake? Yeah. I can't think of anyone else I'd rather have with me. Oh. And one more thing, boss. Yes? It's good to hear your voice again. Same here. After all, who knows if either of us will make it out alive. Snake, you are always best at urban warfare and infiltrating buildings. But this is the jungle. Survival is going to be key. Those CQC techniques I taught you Hell are yeah. sure to come in handy. Mm -hmm. CQC? Close quarters combat, huh? I've been in the Green Berets for the past few years. I'm probably pretty rusty. Not to worry. I'll be here to help you remember. After all, this is your first actual survival mission. I'll be supporting you over the radio. Where are you, boss? Next to the Major? The boss is communicating with us by radio from aboard a permit-class submarine in the Arctic Ocean. My frequency pretty is cool, 1.80. Huh? <laughs> Call me if you need my advice on battle techniques. 
Gotcha. Your mission is to retrieve Dr. Sokolov. Dr. Sokolov is being held in an abandoned it's been factory pretty funny if the north of your current position. <laughs> they did all this before you got your backpack. Go get your backpack, your backpack like after this big... <laughs> Don't forget that this is a stealth mission. Sir, yes, sir. Snake, try to remember some of the basics of CQC. Commencing virtuous mission now. Meow. 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 All right. Yeah. You know where the Carol Frog is on this one? <laughs> Carol Frog? The the little frog. Oh, the Carol. 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 Um, it's right by the ledge, isn't it? Or underneath the. Because they're, they're all missable at the beginning. Yeah. Or in this, at least for the first couple maps. Snake, Mission please turn. Mission J Frog. Yeah, I remember <laughs> Mission, Mission J, J Frog. Frog. I cannot turn. There we go. The boss and I like to talk about James Bond films. <laughs> Says Zero. <laughs> Zero and the boss would talk about James they, Bond films. They absolutely would. Over, They'll like, whiskey and cigars. The one thing I do remember is... Would you is... like to join me for whiskey and cigars tonight? <sighs> what were you going to say? Sorry. The one thing I do remember is... Uh... Um... I'm sure this one around here. I thought it was, but... I mean, it's not a big deal. I'm actually going for all of them, because I know there's some... tough ones later. Do you want me to find it? Nah, it's fine. Oh, it I was pretty sure there's one in, like, a corner somewhere. Um, they added uh, crouch walking in, uh, oh, yeah. in the 3DS version. And I uh, forget how useful that is. <laughs> it's great. See, I haven't been caught yet. This is great. <laughs> There's no one there. <laughs> Right here, right here. <gasps> Your first friend. Aw. <laughs> hey. Happy, Welcome. happy. <laughs> joy, joy. joy. <laughs> happy, happy. Oh, wait, happy. there's one right there. <laughs> Good start. Oh, there's a hornet's nest right there, too. Right above the. Yeah. Happy, happy, happy. <laughs> joy, joy, joy. Gators don't give a fuck. Oh, he's going in the water. Or he's turning around to get you. One or yeah, the other. Yeah, he's trying to get me. <laughs> so, the thing I really like about the like easy versions of this game is I like the stupid easy gun. <laughs> it is good. It is good. It's infinite ammo and silence. And also and very, they're tranks. And they're very quick to trank them. Yep. I don't even care. I go around and do my non kill runs with it. I do not give a shit. I've played gonna, this multiple times. I'm gonna so. try my best to not kill. Yeah. This was one of those things, like, I've played it enough times where I can just I've spotted zoom through this. <laughs> They're probably KGB troops sent to guard Sokolov. AK-47s and grenades. Pineapples. Pineapples. Snake, your presence in Soviet territory is already a violation of international law. You can't let the Kremlin find out that the CIA and the American government are involved. Contact with the enemy is strictly prohibited. Don't engage them in battle either. This is a stealth mission. Got that? The Major is right. The point of this mission is to sneak through the jungle without being seen. The success of the mission depends on how well you use your camouflage. 
Change your camouflage by selecting Camouflage from the Survival Viewer. The Uniform option lets you pick your uniform, while the Face option lets you change... What other voice did she do? Choosing camouflage I know that blends Pearl. In with your surroundings will She's help done a you lot. Yourself more effectively. Um... I'd have to look up her IMDb. I don't know any others offhand, but I know she's done like a ton of stuff. If you just stand up and run around like an idiot, you're bound to be spotted. But if you crawl instead, you should be able to sneak by without being noticed. You can see how effective your camouflage is by looking at the camo index. The camo index shows how well your current camouflage blends in with the surrounding area. The higher the value, the harder you are to spot, and vice versa. The key is to make yourself one with nature. Keep that in mind as you go along. On okay? it, boss. One with nature. Got it. Ryan, you there? You good? Falling asleep yep. on us? <laughs> <laughs> Still here, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> I am also tired and was like, I would like to lay down, but also this game is good and I'm okay to play Metal Gear anytime. Oh, there was a frog! <laughs> there you go. Oh, there you go. I don't know what that Chivo's for. Frog B. Well, yeah. You're coming with us. <laughs> I also don't know what that Chiva, uh, Chiva was for. I can look, but... I'll wait. Yeah. Oh, oh, this is great. Too. Look at all this. He's looking right at me. You idiot. You fool. I was trying to crouch walk. <laughs> Take you over here. I don't expect anybody else to walk over here, but nice bed of leaves for you. Ooh. Um, I would say that I'm okay at this game. Yeah. In terms of Metal Gears, I know I'm set myself up for disappointment saying that, but Ryan, how much do you know about three? Uh, Tark's is asking. <laughs> oh. Sorry, what? How much, How do, you much know do you know about three? Tark's um, asking. Oh, I've played it. Have you beaten it? Yeah, on the PS2. Okay. And then I bought it on my 3DS, but... Um, I never even started it. Because <laughs> <laughs> I had already beaten it. But just to have it. Mm-hmm. So I know the story. Okay. Yeah. This is uh, the second and the last one that I know the story of, though. Oh, yeah, because you only played the first one, right? Great. Yeah, I only played um, Solid Snake and this one. Um, I liked them both, uh, but I never played any of the other Metal Gear games. Um, I think it was mainly, I was Great. told not to play 2, probably by Joe, uh, <laughs> and um, I didn't the others, up there. Um, 4 and whatnot, maybe I just didn't have the system 4, probably. Yeah, 4 is on PS3. Wow. Yeah, I never had a PS3. I didn't think he would see me up there. Hello! Hey, thanks for the follow, Frostil. Thank you. Frost steel, frost. Thank you. Um, oh gosh. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you're just seeing things. Nothing here but us <laughs> frogs. Nothing here but us frogs. You can throw the frog at him if you really want. I'm Not that it'd do much, but that frog will come with us to the end of the mission. At least this mission. There we go. HQ, HQ. This is HQ. Patrol here. We've lost sight of the intruder going into high alert. 
Oh. Oh, Hello. Man. Hi, dude. Song. I have this soundtrack and I love it. And it's a good soundtrack. You're not making any more calls. I'm happy that some that I got a follower while I was in an alert mode doing a <laughs> doing a bad play. So that means that <laughs> while screwing we're up. We're good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Get in the snake. This one's important. Snake, snake get down. Try to remember the basics of climbing into logs. <laughs> there we go. Therm good. Oh. Yeah. Pretty important. Here's one. Oh, yeah. Wow, wow. Isn't there one in a, uh, a log? Like yeah, a somewhere. Trunk? Yeah. Hey. Oh, I'm getting Shivos out, out the wazoo. This is great. Yeah. Um. Maybe it's on the second time. Do they move? Like in the maps? I thought it was just one per map. Oh, maybe. You might be right, though. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Joe's favorite picture. Oh, here it is. That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is an... Even when a snake smiles, he looks evil in that one, actually. <laughs> Never mind. He smiles so He just kind of looks evil. Yeah. It's so good. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> let me get this guy good. There he goes. <laughs> I keep bees. No, oh, the bees are in my mouth and they're <laughs> stinging me. Uh, this bridge is. Well, that went well, actually. For yeah, that actually went really that well. <laughs> it's typically very easy to... It's not easy to, like, actually fall, because you're able to climb back up, but... Yeah. I felt like they come back, but... They do. They definitely do. They give you a good amount of time to get across the bridge, though. So. Yeah. This game looks good uh, earning at 60 frames. Oh, yeah. You guys can't really see that, obviously, but... No. But I do have that game yeah oops the hd version is is just nice so. yeah they did a really good job with the hd version this game's so good <laughs> it has a good uh cut scene to gameplay ratio that we're all used to mm-hmm it's been 45 minutes. I've played maybe five. <laughs> maybe you're a dump. The security is pretty tight. It's got a dump dump truck ass, that's for sure. Yeah. It's got a bunch of dump in that trunk. <laughs> I wonder how many are inside. <laughs> 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 I did find um is inside the what do you call it? They should be holding him in a room in the northeast. Oh wait, till zero's done. Section. Okay. Got it. Be careful. Mitch Senna, no, I'm 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 going for no kill at least for a little while. Must not be exposed to any kind of danger. Do not I don't want to expose Sokolov to any kind of danger. That's why. Right. <laughs> oh, and one more thing, Snake. You mean there's more? No, it's just that when you get to Sokolov. 
I want you to tell him something. Give him that me. love note I sent you. And that is. Sorry for being <laughs> so late. Is the one all? with the hearts on it. Yes. Understood. The Begin glitter. My approach to the target. And the unicorns. With his cologne. <laughs> yeah, the the cutscene to gameplay ratio uh goes is insane compared to like five. It's such a weird oh, yeah. Uh, Tark's mentioned in chat, but yeah, it's... Uh, but I mean, overall, like, there's it, there's plenty to play in this, but um, early on, especially, it's like... Where are you at? I see you. There you are. And... Bah. Oof. Oof. I was gonna say. Mm -hmm. We're good. There's a snake, though. Hey, snake. Yeah, there's a. Oh, right there. You can see it in uh, this, the grass moving. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Snake eight. Snake. Snack. <laughs> I should probably eat something. Just for the sake of eating something. I mean, you've got stuff. No, no, Snake does not do that. Raiden does that. <laughs> it's true. Raiden is starting what, a pump. Squats? Start a pump? Mm hmm. Did, did you just get a shotgun? I did. Dang. No, I would expect a shotgun, maybe like right there, leaning up against that box, but. Thermal goggles? And a log? I mean... See? I'm good at this game. How about the dick? Nothing? Don't shoot! Okay. No! Oh. <laughs> we missed that, though. Look at that wiggles, yeah. though. They're good wiggles. Keep shaking. There you go. There you <laughs> keep go. going, keep going. Like, he just doesn't care, uh-huh. It's back when they had fun with achievements. Oh, don't forget to spin in survival menu. That's what it Ah, in. yes. There might be uh, a good time to actually do that, though. That's true. Uh, I guess I could I could do that, though. Um, especially before we eat. That'll, that'll decrease our stamina in a good way. Here, we'll put them... We'll make them spoon over here. There you go. Aww. Well, not so much, but... Okay. Uh, do I have to just do that in uh, camouflage? Um, I think you could do it in camouflage oh, and I, um, food. I think I need cure. Or your health. I can't yeah. do cure yet. Oh yeah, she didn't go through that yet, has she? Uh, we won't till the end of this mission. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Did she give me <laughs> your, um, or did you get her call number? The boss? No. Paramedic. Oh, there goes the... Oh! It made like a crashing sound when you shot them. Yeah, that's the, uh, suppressor that's going. The, yeah. Hmm. Uh... Sounded different. Oh no! It means you ran. Your suppressor ran out completely. Yeah, the suppressor oh. broke. Oh, oh, durability. Look at that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, again, not. I don't remember it ever being an issue in this. I don't remember it. So there you go. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I don't think I've ever played it either of the solid uh either of these games um with tranks i always just killed everyone <laughs> <laughs> it's a valid way um oh we do have paramac let's let's chat with her i mm -hmm. see you caught yourself a reticulated python mm -hmm. a reticulated python is said to be the longest snake in the world the biggest ones can grow up to 10 meters in length Ugh, although they're ew. not poisonous they're still <laughs> very dangerous so be careful around 10 them. meters they have a highly yeah. vicious temperament, and they can swallow feet. whole, even large right? animals like Meters, deer and three pigs. Feet? Yeah. Their most mm -hmm. distinguishing feature is the mesh pattern of their scales. This pattern acts as a highly effective natural camouflage. 
If you think think of dangling one from the 10 meter diving board close attention to your at that uh, that pool Otherwise, we used to go to. You get before you even know mm -hmm. it, would, it would get it would down touch to the, wa right. the, the water. water. But how mm -hmm. did it taste? Huh? Do they taste good? You could see the city if you went to the top of that diving board. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cannibal. What was that? <laughs> Nothing. Let's see what the guide says. Ah, you're in luck. It says they taste pretty good. Good. I can hardly wait. Ugh. <laughs> Cannibal. Shit, <what> boss. <laughs> Nothing. Hmm. Weird. All right, major time. Why not? Snake. Sokolov is imprisoned in the northeast area of the factory. Got it. To the northeast. Sure. Yes, and don't engage the enemy. The object of this mission is to bring Sokolov back safely and nothing more. Contact Sokolov without being spotted by the enemy and bring him out discreetly. If you must I really like his voice enemy, actor. Do yeah. The tranquilizer gun. Um, not, not spoiling anything. Is this the only game he's in? Don't don't say details, but technically no. Okay. Let's see. Hey, buddy, that's not thirty. That's not thirty feet long. No, oh, they can grow up to thirty. Up I think to. the longest they said they've yeah. seen them grow to is thirty feet. Okay. That'd be like anaconda. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, Tarks. Technically, no. Okay. <laughs> we'll chat later. I see that dart sticking out of your head. <laughs> Enjoy your nap, buddy. There's a a life med over here. What? Where? Oh. <laughs> a man right in front of you shooting. Freeze. <laughs> Love that. Go to sleep. Oh. Hmm. Do you have red camo yet? The brick camo? Uh, I think so. You could just blend into the walls. Yeah. Or am I over here? <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> just start whispering to guys in the back of their, like, behind them. Like, hey. I'm over what? here. You're not a hundred percent. I mean, they're you're oh, still on alert. Oh, he knew where to so. come in. Oh, I mean, they're on alert. <laughs> oh, uh, uh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Take your backpack, and now it's gonna your backpack's gonna uh, fall asleep now. Oh, oh gosh! Shoot the radio. I'm trying. Yep. Uh, yep. Uh, 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 no. There we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. Oh, I thought I could. Oh, knock in not no. Dang it. Oh well. You had to go the other way. Burning his manga. <laughs> you must be so it's hentai you and it's art. It's hentai and it's art. I've come to escort you back to the other side of the iron curtain. You're calling the camo to Ryan now, we look so Your cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was sent by Major Zero, the man who got you out two years ago. I thought that was Major Tom. <laughs> I have a message from him. What is it? He said to tell you. So oh yeah, he's Jim Cummings. Did he now? Oh yeah. What does it mean? It means he's a man of his word. Big smiles all around. Time for this. Get me out of here before they arrive. Who's they? Colonel Vulcan of Gru. You in the West know him as Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt? Never
never heard of him. He's a member of the army's extremist faction, a man who seeks to seize control of the motherland. These um, Ever since these the scenes are crisis, crazy for my bitrate because of the static. A policy of peaceful coexistence oh yeah. Despite resistance and criticism from hawks in the army and the provincial authorities, Khrushchev has managed to suppress the opposition so far. But the failure of his agricultural policies has put him in a precarious position. And on top of that, the tragedy last November. President Kennedy's assassination. Precisely. In a sense, Khrushchev has lost his biggest partner and his power base is rapidly crumbling away. A certain group is plotting to use this opportunity to seize power by rallying the anti-government forces, overthrowing Khrushchev, and installing Brezhnev and Kosygin in his place. The mastermind behind this plot is Colonel Volgin of the Gru. He has control over another secret weapons research facility much like this one, OKB-812, known as the Granin Design Bureau, and is using it to further his plans. But that is not enough to satisfy him. Now he's plotting to seize the secret weapon I have been developing here and use it as leverage in his bid for power. Huh. <laughs> no, I well, haven't heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> the intelligence says that they are going to make their move during the test. Then, the soldiers outside. Exactly. They wouldn't need that many men just to keep me inside. Their orders were to prevent Colonel Volgin from capturing me. Even if it meant killing me in the process, or so it would seem. Well, good news. <laughs> I'm sure you must get me out of here before then. Leave it to me. By the way, your Russian is superb. Where did you learn to speak it? From my mentor. So does it imply that he spe they're speaking That's Russian right now? So. Yes. Okay. America is truly a frightening country. That's why Learning nobody other has languages. accents. <laughs> Sorry. Thoughts. What? No. I have no love what for you. Oh, I said that's go. because nobody has accents. Got it. Did I talk over someone? Who, me? That was me. No, like, oh, uh, okay, I'm sorry. There you go. Major, this is Snake. Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. No injuries. Good work, Snake. Now hurry up and get Sokolov to the recovery point. We'll rendezvous with you there. Roger. What about the sentries? I managed to get past them. That's right. I see. What about the boss? We lost <laughs> contact with the boss some time ago. What happened? It's probably just a weak signal. I just think that line changes if you kill him. Yeah. Saying like I had to neutralize him or something. Yeah. Oh boy, oh boy. Is he trying to go Mayha Mayha yeah. the air? <laughs> I don't know. And I totally want a monocle earring. I know, right? Yeah, you you would look good with one. Thank you. That would definitely be a Ryan thing to wear. It's like a clip on his <laughs> ear. No permanent earring, totally. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> monocle nose ring. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little too weird. <laughs> That's where my other monocle will go. Yeah. The right monocle will be attached to my earring, and the left monocle will be attached to my nose ring. Dual monocles? <laughs> yeah. I'm glad so. <laughs> what if one falls off? 
It's okay, they're two different prescriptions, each lens. <laughs> oh, okay, well then. Makes perfect sense. Yeah. Oops. This is Aww. not Vulcan. You. No. The Ocelot unit of Spetsnaz. <gasps> How did you What's know? Who's doing here? Soldier. He's such a baby. He is such a baby. <laughs> That's major ocelot to you. And don't you forget. <laughs> that sounds like a Metal Gear boss, the dual monocles. The dual mon <laughs> 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 <That's very sad. laughs> oh yeah, got Josh Keaton's in this. An ocelot never lets his prey escape. What? <laughs> what the fuck? What was Ocelot doing? Not Ocelot. What was uh, Sokolov doing back there? I don't know. Oof. Everyone's thinking, who is this dork? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, basically. Who is this dork that just killed like five men right away? I can't say it feels good to kill a comrade, even if it is for the Gru. Sokolov, take cover. <laughs> You're not the boss, are you? That would have been crazy. I just talked over his meowing. Hmm? I'm so angry with you. I'm sorry. <laughs> what is that stance? Huh. That gun. <laughs> 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 If you're not the boss, then die. The goofy smile, I love it every time. <laughs> I was just trying to say that if it were the boss that came, that would be nuts. Mm -hmm. Knowing what we know. Yeah. Revolver technique. You feel 
the American dog. But that was some fancy shooting. You're pretty good. Pretty good. <sighs> that should have been what they make Snake say at the end of, uh, in like a you know, the victory thing in Smash Ultimate. Major. Oh, that would have been cool. You're pretty you. good. Snake, you all right? I've run into a few snags. I guess you're solid snake. These though. guys were after Sokolov, too. Apparently, they yeah. were taking orders from a Gru colonel named Volgan. A Gru colonel? Part of an internal Soviet power struggle, according to Sokolov. Something between the KGB and Gru. Between Khrushchev's supporters and Volgan's. Sokolov was being guarded by the KGB and hunted by Gru? Snake, it sounds like this could be even hotter than Cuba. I don't like it. Something about the whole thing stinks. I agree. You'd better hurry. Sokolov ran off by himself, but I'll catch up to him. We're counting on you. All right, let's give Paramedic a call real quick. Yeah. Young gun. <laughs> Saving the game, Snake? Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't have a. I did not have a save. No, you didn't save before. Uh, no, I mean I thought I. Oh, you mean from before? A file before. A while ago on this. I got gotcha. you. Hey, Snake. You ever heard of Godzilla, King of Monsters? No. Hell yeah. It's a movie. <gasps> you haven't seen it? Nope. It's about this monster called Godzilla who grows to an enormous size in a nuclear test and goes on a rampage in Tokyo. Nuclear test, huh? Then the Marshall Islands must be crawling with giant monsters right about now. It's just make-believe. Maybe that's why my pants have been so tight lately. See, <laughs> it's a movie, not a report out of Los Alamos. I know. So then what happened? Godzilla is immune to all weapons, and humanity has no way to stop the monster. Dr. Sirizawa develops a new type of weapon, but meanwhile Godzilla is getting closer and closer to Tokyo, obliterating everything in its path. It was originally a Japanese movie, but they made an American version, too. I recommend seeing the original Japanese one if you ever get the chance. It's mostly mindless fun, but it's also got a serious anti-nuke message as well. Where can I see the original? You'll just have to go to Japan. Really? That's too bad. Well, if you wait 40 years, you might be able to see it in America, too. Why is that? 2004 will be Godzilla's 50th birthday. That's you weirdly specific. Are making Godzilla movies, then? <laughs> of course! Everybody loves Godzilla. You sure know a lot about movies. I don't suppose you're the movie-watching type, are you? Not really. Okay, then I'll tell you everything I know. When the going gets tough, movies can save your life. It's always good to be able to look at things from a different perspective when you get in a jam. That's the magic of movies. No kidding. Well, I guess it might at least make a nice distraction. That's the spirit, Snake. Have a little fun. Um... Let's also check the backpack real quick. Uh, oops. Uh, my favorite Godzilla uh, movie um, is the one where it's the original Godzilla, but they dubbed, they redubbed it all with uh, text to speech. I do remember. <laughs> I've seen it. It is something <laughs> special. Anyway. Oh my gosh! <laughs> That's why I saved. I think it says the the ocelot is dead changes into something. Oh, should I do it Doesn't again? It? I don't know. Poor ocelot. <laughs> oh no! Just a little <laughs> off <boy>. the top. <laughs> I think it turns into time paradox. Like that. 
Oh, that's right. I'm glad the colonel tells us this. Yeah. <laughs> Ocelot is a dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it slowly changes. Yeah, it does that. turn into the Tire Paradox. I like that. Time Parade. <laughs> Kimmet Parade. <laughs> Kimmet Parade. Did you know about that, Ryan? This? Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> Problem solved. Series over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Time Paradox. <laughs> Was that the name of the, the achievement? Mm-hmm. That's a good one. <laughs> Problem solved, series over. Yeah, I um, like that they got pollinating for that as well. <laughs> That's great. One line. <laughs> All right. Enough goofing. It's like perfect, though. Like, I don't know. <clears throat> uh, yeah, we'll stick with the red and black for the for the scene. Dolino Vodino. Not Vodino. Dolino Vodo. Dolino Valadino. Vodino. <laughs> Pilo Paladino. He's just standing there. It's not like yep. he's hiding. Ocelot unit, Spetsnaz. Yes. The best crew has to offer. They're coming for me. I'm finished. Calm down. I'll get you out of here, I promise. And we've got some of the best backup we could ask for. Stop promising Look. things. Yeah, you, we don't have backup. I guess you shouldn't tell that to him. I mean, yeah. That's what they were making you build. Yes. The Shagahod. The treading behemoth. What? A tank <laughs> capable of launching nuclear IRBM. It can launch nuclear missiles from that kind of terrain? Oh, yes. And without support from friendly units. A nuclear equipped tank capable of operating solo. I can't remember. Does the Shagahod roar? Yes. No, this is only yeah. A phase one. Yes, it is a robot in a Kojima game. It roars. Phase two. This is true. Still, the weapon's true form. Hey, sleepy boy. If it is Aww. And the colonel gets his hands on it, it will mean the end of the Cold War. The end of the Cold War? Yes. And then the Age of Fear will truly begin. A world war. I had no choice but to cooperate. I didn't want to die. I wanted to see my wife and child again in America. Please, take me to America, quickly. They cannot complete it without my help. Got it. Let's go. But you were in the Arctic. <laughs> Hi, Kit. Hi, Kit. Just in time. Hey, Kit. God, the Bowie thing. No. That's... <laughs> Boss. <gasps> what, if, what if he did fall there? That would have sucked. Whoops. Good work. Jack. What are you doing here? Sokolov comes with me. Huh? <laughs> Horn 
targets. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> <laughs> So silly. It's cool how they get on the camera. <laughs> yeah, the bee man is something bee. special. <laughs> well, he's pulling it. Like he's though. pulling him up. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. You're right. <laughs> My friends, let us fight together again. I have waited long for this day. We will fight with you once more. Welcome back, boss. Now that all five of us are together, it's time we go to the depths of hell itself. It's raining blood. Is he crying? Snake is taking this pretty well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just surprised the boss is here still. I mean, they are the best bosses. Colonel Vogan. It's a good ragtag group of bosses, that's for sure. Yeah. What is this? I'm defecting to the Soviet Union. Sokolov is a little gift for my new hosts. What? Recoilless nuclear warheads. These will make a fine gift for me. This can't be happening. Who is he? Another one of your disciples? Are we taking him with us? No, this one is still just a child. Too pure for us cobras. He has not yet found an emotion to carry into battle. What are you talking about? Think you can pull the trigger? If he did pull the trigger, she'd just go to sleep, I guess. That's true. He's seen my face. We can't let him live. If Khrushchev finds out about this, we're finished. Yeah, bullet punches. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He must die. Wait. He's my apprentice. I'll take care of him. Yeah, I got the bullets out and everything. Jeez. Jack, you can't come with us.
I wish I could see David Hayter doing that in the booth. I know! <laughs> <laughs> the new blood has been rejected. Are we done here? Now, onto Sokolov's research facility. Shagohad is ours. Drift away. My place is with them now. Oh, shit. <laughs> Is there a secret one here, Katie? Oh, Later. yeah. Later. Well, he's... No... Just keep holding R1. Yeah, I think it's after this. Is it after this part? Mm hmm Because you can see, um... Skeletons! Yeah. Just barely. Snake, listen to me. You need emergency medical treatment. Can you move? You've got to get those wounds treated. Hang in there. All right, let's get you fixed up. Paramedic? Okay, Snake. Just relax and it'll all be over before you know it. <sighs> Stay with me. I've seen people in worse shape before. Think you can handle it? Major. The boss. She's defected. We'll talk about that later. First, we've got to get you patched up. Okay, here we go. First, open the survival viewer with the start button. If you select Cure, you can start the treatment. Healing is divided into treatment using medicine with the item window button and surgical treatment using the weapon window button. Uh, this is the part that I think aged the elbow and worst. Bone, and lacerations on your upper arms, right elbow, and abdomen. Why? They need to be fixed Going in the menus after you get shot a couple times, <laughs> a bunch, like in the... the oh, well, it's kind of... The affected part of your body. Once you've selected the weapon window button, you use the left stick to select the medical Basically. item and then press the inner button. With this method, you can use items to help your recovery process. To treat a bone fracture, first secure the affected area with a fastener and then wrap it in bandages. That should do it. For lacerations, you'll need disinfectant to clean the wound, sutures to stitch it up, styptic to slow the flow of blood, and bandages to wrap the wound. If you do everything I mentioned, the wound should heal completely. Understood? Yeah. Stay with me. Go into the survival viewer and treat those wounds. Okay. Like, I don't think I could do anything here besides just get to the menu. I think it's the next mm -hmm. thing. Alright. So, this was a cut. So... Doesn't really matter what order either. No. Nah. You sew the bandage on. <laughs> you sew <laughs> the bandage on. Put the put the disinfectant on top of the the <laughs> the styptic. Um. Oops. Not Oops. so real. Derp says, "Where are the monkeys?" I was promised the ultimate outdoor jungle. Oh experience. man, <laughs> we'll do the monkeys for sure later, but. <laughs> it shows some maps that we haven't seen yet, so I think I might wait a little bit until we get a little deeper into whoop. it's a bone. There we it's go. A bone. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna hold our one. Yep. Well, this happens first. Yeah. <sighs> Ah! 
Wait, did he say monkeys? Yeah. I know. That's what he says. <laughs> oh. Oh, wait, yeah, wait. Paul eating more than one line. Oh, you're right! He did do more than that. Good job, Snake. We're coming to get you now. Just stay where you are. We'll drop a recovery balloon. Can you set it up? There we go. So, I believe... Oh, there, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> so fast. <laughs> I was like, is it right or left? Yeah, I couldn't remember outside. That's good, though. Catching a mm -hmm. glimpse. <laughs> Just slowly turn around. <laughs> <laughs> That's not... You don't get a prompt for that one either, I don't think. Or if you do, that... It's more the skeleton thing is kind of a little... Easter egg. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is an Easter egg. What you doing, boss? <laughs> Asks the bee man. That's my pain impression. That's a, that's not bad. <laughs> I've been working on it. <laughs> every day, every morning, mm, I practice. In the mirror. I practice what the bee or the, the bee man says. Blood has been rejected. <laughs> Tommy gun. That's all. Awesome. Tommy gun. <laughs> Yeah, the helicopters are a little close. Also, when a helicopter is flying over the bridge, that's very rickety. I don't know <laughs> how well that thing would have actually stood, but... <laughs> Details! I like that Ocelot is just, like, lamenting over his performance. I know. <laughs> Thanks to the boss and her cobras, I have both Sokolov and the Shagohod. What are we going to do with the girl? Who is she? I thought you knew. <laughs> She's a nice catch. I'll take her. Not so fast, my dear. <laughs> A kiss of death. Yeah, you KGB. Uh, we may be able to use her. Yeah, that's a real derp. Says uh, it would be horrible for the convoy if they were affected by the blast of a nuclear shock. Oh, right. yeah. Right. <laughs> Take her back to the base. Perhaps we should. We have no further use I don't for Sokolov's <laughs> research facility. I guess. I think it's time I gave this marvelous new toy what? a try. Colonel, even if they are our enemies, they're still our countrymen. But it won't be me that pulled the trigger. It'll be our friend, the American defector. You're going to nuke your fellow Russians? <laughs> Or Fonzies. Colonel. <laughs> okay, that was pretty cool, Colonel. <laughs> it was pretty cool, but I'll give you that.
Don't look at it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Gosh, no wonder he has eye problems in the future, am I right? Yeah, right? <laughs> Well, that ain't good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. What has our snake gotten himself Snake's into got himself this into time? A dilly of a pickle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Found the button. <laughs> Oh yeah, there they go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm searching and I'll melt into you. Are there supposed to be that many parachute people? <laughs> no. But you're so surprise. I give my life for honor, but I think I changed the language. Yeah, you did. I don't want to press buttons that I'm not supposed to. That's in Russian. There we go. Is it bothering you, Ryan? <laughs> no, I. No, I'm just kidding. I'm controlling that. <laughs> so much peace. <laughs> I like that they change, like. They sway with the way you're moving the controller. Yeah. Love the snake bones, though. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, you can control them. I forgot. Yeah. coming out of the big snake's face. <laughs> oh no. Guess the for Colonel oh I guess the Colonel forgot that nukes are killers. There goes the non lethal <laughs> playthrough. No, that was a Trank nuke. <laughs> Everyone just fell asleep. Yeah. Currently flying over the Arctic Ocean, <laughs> altitude thirty thousand mm. feet. Approaching Soviet airspace. I keep letting go of the controller, but then I forget. There's stuff to do in cutscenes. Wait, do we get to play Raiden now? Yep. Yeah. That's it. Power supply to payload antifreeze system shows no problems. No gusts. Oh, thank goodness. systems go for drone detachment. The round here is where you did, though. Yeah, I'm holding it. Airspace security has gotten tighter since we were last here. We can't get as close to the ground as we did during the virtuous mission. So instead, we'll be using one of our newest weapons. Snake, you're being given an honor on par with Alan Shepard. This is our last chance. Show your patriotism. If you fail, you'll be back in a hospital bed again, waiting for the firing squad. Bummer. 
So how does it feel to be a patient in one of the most advanced ICUs in the world? Oh, I should add Snake Eater as a, a soundboard thing. Oh, yeah. Assaulting me day and night with their questions. Must be part of the top brass's inquiry. More like an interrogation. According to them, Honestly, I like this cutscene. Like the style of it. Yeah, it's cool. They're just looking for a scapegoat. Does that mean they're after you, too? Mm. Let's just say neither one of us is going to be made a national hero out of this. Does this mean Fox is going to die? No. This Fox is still one step ahead of the hounds. The reason I came to see you today... Jack, it's time for Fox to clear its name. What are you talking about? The situation has changed. we still got a chance to come out of this one alive. Yeah, what kind of chance? Don't get too excited. Here, have a cigar. It's Cuba. I nearly died. <laughs> That's not a cigar, man. <laughs> yeah, but it's still Cuban. It's still Cuban. <laughs> Something even bigger. Yesterday, the White House received an unexpected call. President Johnson? Yes, I hear you, Mr. Oh, I love the voice actor for... Yeah. John, for Lyndon B. Johnson. It was a hotline call from Khrushchev to President Johnson. From the head of the Soviet Union? That's right. LBJ, Make the original, the before LeBron James. One of our main <laughs> bureaus, okay, B-754, was destroyed in a nuclear explosion. At about the same time, our anti-aircraft radar picked up a signature that appeared to come from one of your military aircraft. Does... Any of this sound familiar to you? Whoops. In retaliation, I have placed our armed forces on secondary alert. Depending on your response, I may be left with no choice but to order the military to maximum alert and unleash Armageddon. And they're very testy when they're in maximum alert. <laughs> I was able to survive the Cuban incident. But my power is not as great as it once was. If I am to survive this crisis, I must have your full cooperation. I should have contacted you myself. Did you know that one of our soldiers defected to your country a week ago? No. So you haven't heard that? The man who arranged the defection was a Gru colonel by the name of Yevgeny Borosovich Volgin. Volgin? Of the Brezhnev faction. Go on. Who is the soldier? Her name is the Boss. She's a living legend. During World War II, she was the one who led us to victory in that war. In Russia, you know her as Voyevoda. You mean... It's Vodka Smirnov. <laughs> the mother of your special forces? <laughs> it's yes, Vodka Smirnov. <laughs> and she took two miniature nuclear shells along with her. The boss took two miniature nuclear shells. I'm afraid so. I mean, how I could they were a, a tube falling, to new hosts. you know, descending Navy from space be battle group delivery system any sort of problem? Two years ago. My thoughts and prayers. Serious problems with <laughs> range and precision. Although they were mass produced, they've never been deployed in battle. But Sokolov's research facility was completely wiped out. The whole area is polluted. I can only offer you my deepest condolences over this terrible tragedy. So, the boss. Oh, okay, then the never mind. <laughs> two experimental nuclear shells and took them with her as a gift when she defected. Then, shortly thereafter, Sokolov's design lab, a top secret military research facility, was destroyed by one of these weapons. Am I right so far? Yes, that's correct. And the American government denies any involvement in the affair. Is that right? In a nutshell. That's correct. We were not involved in any way. Then what was a U.S. military aircraft doing on our radar screen? It was clearly in a violation of our airspace. And yet you say it was not acting under your orders. That's correct. You expect me to believe that this was all the work of a single soldier? I don't know what else to tell you. 
The army insists that this is all a ploy on your part. I've said it once and I'll say it again, our government had nothing to do with it. And I would like dearly to believe you. However, I'm afraid my power over the military has weakened since the Cuban incident. I will need some kind of proof that this was not the action of the American government. You have one week. You must catch the boss yourselves and recover the remaining nuclear device. We actually play the re rest of the game as Lyndon B. Johnson. Then you must oh, find shit. some way to prove <laughs> your innocence. Prove our innocence? Yes. Preferably something painful. Prove to me that this is not merely another one of your things. To you or to, like, the boss? The boss should be close to Colonel Volgan. How about a little co-action? I would not expect too much if I were you. The political situation here is unstable. And Colonel Volgan is a member of the Brezhnev faction, which seeks to topple my government. One week. You have only one week. And if it is not too much to ask, do something about Volgan as well. What is that supposed to Pick be? me up an Egg McMuffin. Nothing. Me Make well. him into an Egg McMuffin. <laughs> Call it a modest gentleman's agreement to ensure our continued relationship. Wink. What if we can't <laughs> prove <laughs> <laughs> will be unable to restrain the military. I will be ousted, <clears throat> and they will seek their revenge. A nuclear attack on the United States? Maybe, maybe yes, maybe no. Leave the disposal of this situation <laughs> maybe not, maybe so. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. <laughs> and this is how TF2 yeah. started. <laughs> <laughs> Put it simply, in order to avoid a full-scale nuclear conflict, we have to prove that America was not involved in that explosion. And eliminating the boss ourselves will prove America's innocence? Right. The higher-ups have decided that you're the only one capable of pulling this off. For some reason. You were her last apprentice. Oh. Screw this one up, and yeah, we'll both be sense. six feet under. There's no <laughs> choice. Are the Russians going to be helping us? The KGB has promised to lend us one ah, of their communications hi. satellites so that you and I can talk to each other. That's it? They've also put us in touch with a couple of insiders. Insiders? There was a defection in September 1960. Do you remember it? You mean the two NSA codebreakers who went over to the Soviet Union? Precisely. Since then, they've apparently been training with the KGB. <laughs> the legends say the lead is still in two Fort Water Supply to this Adam. day. <laughs> I've been told that Adam has infiltrated Vulcan's right. <laughs> for him to provide you with an escape route. You'll need to rendezvous with him when you get there. Oh. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even tell him when they were letting him go. <laughs> oh, by the way, you, you lift off <laughs> or yeah. whatever. Good luck. Control. Unidentified aircraft detected. Altitude 30,000 feet. God, they're bad at the stealth thing, huh? <laughs> yeah. Looks like Estimated some kind of pod. Bearing south. <laughs> it's fast. Oh, the theme to this game is so good. Yes. Also, it's a really good setup to uh, mm -hmm. the mission. It's, it's just a, it's a good game. It's good. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Shoot you out like a torpedo.
Exceeding Mach 3, don't don't you need a spacesuit for that? Uh this is Snake. Do you read me? Loud and clear. Oh, Snake doesn't Glad get you lasting uh, damage in his gray matter slapping around Snake, inside of his skull. No, I don't know. If, one more you know. Rescue Sokolov. Maybe. Find maybe. out what's happened to the Shagahod, then destroy it. I'm sure he's and fine. Finally, eliminate the boss. Eliminate the boss. This mission will be codenamed Operation Snake Eater. Because I'll be taking on the boss in our Cobra unit, right? Don't forget about Colonel Volkin. I'm not a hired killer. I know, but that was the You are now. Demand. demand. <laughs> you mean it wasn't just a request? What's it to us if the Khrushchev regime is threatened by the Colonel and his faction? If supporting the current regime helps us avoid a nuclear exchange, then that's what we'll do. And what are the CIA's demands? Our priorities are the rescue of Sokolov and the destruction of the Shagahod. Roger that, Major Tom. Hold on, Snake. What now? I'm changing my code name. It turns out Tom wasn't the most auspicious choice. What do you mean? Well, the truth is, when I chose my code name, I picked the wrong one. The wrong one? Did you ever see the movie The Great Escape? It came out last year. I must have missed that one. Anyway, it's based on a true story about prisoners who escaped from a POW camp in Nazi Germany. The prisoners dig three tunnels as part of their plan, but the Nazis find two of the tunnels before they're finished. The prisoners succeed in escaping by using the last remaining tunnel. The names of those three tunnels were Dick, Harry, and Tom. I get it. You used the name of the tunnel they escaped in as your code name because you thought it would bring you good luck. Yes, that's exactly right. At least, that was the plan. But? But I got the name wrong. The one they escaped oh, it's a good thing they didn't Harry. escape in Dick. Tom was one of the unlucky <laughs> tunnels. It was discovered by the Nazis before it was finished. I watched the movie again just to make sure. In fact, I even ordered the actual film from the movie company. Yeah, it doesn't sound like the greatest name to use. So what should I call you? Hmm. You know, let's just use Zero, like we've been doing all along. All right, then. Major Zero it is. We'll start over from square one. From square zero. My frequency is 140.85. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Paramedic is with us again on this mission. Is this her last chance, too? If we fail, she'll have her medical license revoked. It's more or less the same kind of fate. Her frequency is the same as during the Virtuous mission, 145.73. She'll be recording your mission data as well, just like the last time. That frequency is also the same, 140.96. And there's one more person on your support team. His name is Mr. Sigint. He's an expert yeah. and latest in weapons mm -hmm. and equipment technology. He'll be going up against some of the world's most advanced weaponry when Again. you infiltrate the research facility. If Secret you have any theater questions, has just ask ruined him. some of the stuff. One four eight point four one. Mr. Sigint, got it. Yo, know, Snake, want to talk KGB guns? Contact is waiting for you at the abandoned factory up ahead. Uh, the same factory Sokolov was being held in last week. Yes, meet up with Adam first. He's cleared the way for you to rescue Sokolov. How will I know this Adam guy when I see him? Oh, you'll know. You'll know once no, you no. the factory. The whole area's been polluted by the fallout from that nuclear blast. No one else would dare come close. The password is, Who are the Patriots? And Lali Lule Lo. Lali Lule Lo. Gotcha. You've been equipped with a 45 for this mission. Be careful, it's noisy. I thought standard Fox procedure was procure on-site weapons acquisition. The circumstances are different this time. You're now on an official mission for the United States government. It would be necessary to make your presence known to a certain extent. To the Khrushchev regime. Can you give me a suppressor? But remember, this is still a sneaking <laughs> mission. Snake, if you fail this mission... Anyway, here's a loud-ass gun. A Good luck. <laughs> that in mind, you proceed with extreme caution. Understood. Commencing Operation Snake Eater. Uh, KD, uh, the one... Talk about second in chat. Uh, make sure I do not miss the... Well, we could talk to him now, I guess. But make sure I yeah. do not miss the conversation. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Yo! You're Snake, aren't you? And you're second? None other. I heard that you're an expert on weapons, equipment, and cutting-edge technology. Close. Huh? I am the expert on weapons, equipment, and cutting-edge technology. Uh, 
I'm the guy that designed your trank gun, active sonar, and motion detector. If you want to know anything about weapons or equipment you find in the field, just send me a message and ask. Later. Oh, yeah, buddy. All right. Uh, see how she's doing. Paramedic. Yep. Snake, it's so good to hear from you again. Same here. It's been a week, hasn't it? Four days, actually. Huh? I visited you in the hospital. You were still unconscious, though. Ah, then you must have seen me naked. Yeah, but you were all wrapped up in bandages and tubes, so I couldn't do anything but look. Better luck next time. Mm, let's hope so. But seriously... That's like the only time they flirt. You were like <laughs> yep. Just yesterday. In fact, you really shouldn't even be on this mission. I think. Keep an eye on your stamina. I mean, for the most part. If you start to run low, don't push yourself. Eat something to replenish your stamina. And try not to get oh, yourself guess. hurt. If you're wounded or get bitten I guess that's by kind of like mailing. Go into the survival viewer immediately and treat yourself yeah. using cure. Yeah, yeah. I can see you still know how to nag. You're welcome. And I can see you still don't know when to keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Maybe so. Damn. I heard you're going to lose your medical license if this mission fails. Who told you that? <laughs> yes, there was talk of that, but the mission won't fail, will it? Of course not. Good. I believe in you. But you know what? I really don't care about your medical license. <laughs> Did they use that to force you to participate in this operation? Uh. No, I volunteered. <laughs> Do you remember what so April 30th, 2007 is? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but you push yourself too hard. You're reckless. Someone has to stop you from getting into trouble to make sure you and the boss don't kill each other. No. Well. So that's why I volunteered. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better guardian angel than me, right? Thanks. Stop right there. Huh? You can thank me when you get back. All right. Um, <laughs> Ryan, did you watch that clip that I sent with the, uh, the Nightmare stream where they had, uh, Rose and Jack talking on top of, uh, the Mario screaming for 90 seconds and <laughs> Toad screaming for two and a half minutes? <laughs> no, I did not. I'm sorry. <laughs> you hear, you just hear, that one. <laughs> you hear the, um, you hear Rose Definitely being like, nightmare. I know I'm being jealous, or I know I'm being whatever. But blah blah blah, and then Mario starts screaming, and then Toad starts <laughs> screaming on top of that, and then like fart noises. It's it's good. Uh, Dan Riker's stream or or streams are something else. Uh, okay, so I have no suppressor. Oh, I do. I have nine of them. He didn't. <laughs> oh, we're going to Sebep. <laughs> P is an R sound. Or the P is an R sound. Is it? Yes. Because I found out when I was taking history that I don't remember exactly what how the conversation came up, but our teacher was like, hmm? Pektopa is restaurant in Russian. So the P oh, translates see. to an R. Uh, did you guys hear et cetera, a horse? Et I did hear a Ooh, horse. Look at this. <gasps> There's a snake. Hey, buddy. Want to come with me? Thunk. Thunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we never checked the other froggy and everything we had. Oh, they took it. He's waiting at home for us. Oh, yeah. He's our pet. And then again, it's probably contaminated, so never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Who hey, the horse? Snake. Welcome to Russia. <laughs> <laughs> Boss? <laughs> that's right, Snake. <laughs> Looks like death wasn't ready for you yet. Boss. That arm still hurt? Maybe. What are you doing here? Loser. <laughs> oh. 
that was a really cool getup. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Sons are waiting up ahead. You don't have a prayer of finishing your mission. You're not even armed. Boss. I'm not your boss anymore. There's nothing for you here. Go home. Go back to your boss. There's no need to prove that you are virtuous here. This isn't America. The hell of a gun, boss. Yeah. Tommy gun. <laughs> Tommy gun. <laughs> Stir things up a bit. You'd better hurry. Hey, buddy. The border is sixty miles south. Mm. You ought to be able to run that far. The sorrow is just constantly stalking all day. I didn't. I'm loyal to the end, to my purpose. What about you, Jack? That's right. <laughs> What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your old mentor? The mission or your beliefs? Your duty to your unit or your personal feelings? You don't know the truth yet. But sooner or later, you'll have to choose. I don't expect you to forgive me. But you can't defeat me either. You know me too well. Just look at that bandana. If you can't put the past behind you, you won't survive long. If we meet again, I'll kill you. Now, go home. Jeez, boss, that was a little harsh. <laughs> <laughs> this is Snake, Major Zero. I read you, Snake. I was ambushed by the boss. You were what? The drone's been shot to hell. It's up in flames. That's not good. Enemy scouts are gonna come looking for you. Yeah, I know. But what was the boss doing here in the first place? There's gotta be a leak somewhere. No, that's impossible. The man the boss is working with, Volgin, isn't exactly on speaking terms with Khrushchev. I lost my gun. The boss destroyed it. Snake, I know how you're feeling. It's I've been there. To believe, too, <laughs> a legendary hero like the boss would go over to the Russians she double cross us like this. But that's how it is, and if you don't accept it, you'll never be able to beat her. That's not the problem. In terms of sheer technique, I'll never be able to beat her. I know that all too well. You've got to do it, Snake. She's your enemy and your objective. Enemy? We were together for ten years, and now you tell me she's my enemy? Enough. Hurry to the factory where Adam is waiting. <laughs> Scouts have probably already been sent out to investigate the explosion. You've lost your weapon, right? That means you've got no chance of winning in a battle situation. Whatever you do, don't let them see you. Okay. Didn't she, like, just explain this to you, Snake? I mean, come on. Where am I going? This way? Where are you going? This is the way I go. It looks like, oh, yep. Sebep, how you actually pronounce it. Shafuswai. <laughs> What's this? What's this? Let's 
music's good. Mm hmm. We have evidence of an enemy intruder. Commence alert formation. Uh, how's our uh, camo looking? Yeah. Ooh. Nice. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> 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 hmm. Is there stuff over here though? Can I get some or do I just have to leave? Um, I thought there was a couple different passageways. I thought I could get my gun back for some reason. No. She broke it. Yeah. Well, I, she took it apart. I thought I'd get pieces. Maybe I'm thinking something else. See you losers later. Yeah. Hold on. There we go. <gasps> you could have gotten the words. Hmm? <gasps> Snake. I don't believe they hear my grunts. No, not unless you hit something. Like metal or a tree. Uh-oh. <laughs> Legitimately don't know where he is. I'm gonna get out of the middle of the path here. Well, for some reason, I feel like he's like <laughs> just expecting to I think he around. was on the other side of where you can climb up that tree. Oh, okay. Um, well, maybe I'll just get up for a sec. Yeah, because you don't have the thermal goggles yet, do you? No, I don't have anything. I don't think so. Scope. Motion, motion D. Sonar, you can hear them, but it's actually pretty decent. Because at least it gives you, like, the surrounding area. Yeah. So they're over there. Yeah, I don't think the what he called is different. The placement of the Kiros. Yeah, I can't remember. 60 here. I guess in the. Because I'm kind of out in the open, I guess. But let me just make sure there's no better one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there is. Tiger Beat. Tiger Beat. <laughs> HQ! HQ. HQ. Where are you? Oh, there they go. <laughs> Whoops. There we go. Yeah, so this is how you used to play, or how this used to look. Mm hmm. Which is, eh, nah, awful. Huh? Ooh. Who was that? Jesus. <laughs> I didn't see him. Here. Oh, we'll just, just gonna check over there to see if there's stuff in the in the log again. Oh, there he comes. He's looking right at me. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, you have the mic too. I think he's going away from us now. Yeah. Yeah. They can hear the sonar. I do remember that. Oh, they can? Mm-hmm. If you're too close, they'll hear it. Huh? What's that sound? Oh, the birds. Mm-hmm. I think I saw something. Uh oh. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing here but us birds. <laughs> Chirp, chirp. <laughs> mm. 
There's other wildlife, sir. All right. <laughs> Nothing in here but us snakes. <laughs> huh? Who is that? Who's that? Get up! Oh, I was trying to get up. All right. Hey, wait. There we go. Woo! That's right. Oh, well. Alright, fine. Just trying to see if there was something over there. Good at stealth games. <laughs> I would like a gun, but oh well. Yeah, they're gonna run over here, but ain't seen shit. Except for a man smoking the stogie. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a good stogie to clean the pipes. <laughs> Oh shit, they can come up here. I actually didn't know that. No, you don't. Yeah. I didn't... I actually didn't know they came up there. I think... Yeah. I, mean, I could kill him, but go against my creed. Eh. Yeah. Eh. HQ, please respond. This is HQ. HQ, this is boring. I got a stun grenades, I guess. Acknowledged. The enemy is still nearby. Pursue and engage him. I do I am happy that they last a little longer, because I feel like he'd already be waking up in Oh. Okay. What's wrong? Did you knock him out or did you kill him? Kill him. I knocked him out. Cause with the little stars, doesn't it tell you how long they're knocked out for? Yeah, he, he still had, like, all three stars. Oh, yeah. When I looked over there. I always figured it was, like, 60 seconds. There's that guy right there walking. Oh, I know. Oh. Oh, God. Ready? Yeah. Whew. <laughs> I was just like, ah, oh, shit, are you going to get it? But you did. Oh, raindrop. Yeah. Oh, ye of little faith. I do actually believe I might actually have a gun. Oh, wait, maybe not. Maybe not. Never mind. Smoke grenade. We do have some food to eat. Eat a cobra. Yeah, you've got it. Okay. And then you can tell how good it is. Oh, it's a king cobra. Oh, good. Oh, we get the little cutscene. Nom, 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 nom. How much meat are you actually eating in that thing? I don't think he's eating a lot. <laughs> he didn't actually say it, did he? He said it. Oh, it was very quiet. I can hear it. Aww. I'm a snake eater now. You are a snake eater. Snake eater. Wah, 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 wah.
nothing here. So, um, I guess we need to decide if I should do the entire, the actual end fight, or, <laughs> or not. Oh, right. Not anytime soon. We still got a little bit to go. Till no, we got a bit to go. We just started. <laughs> but that actually happens. That decision is right after, um, uh, the pain. What? Mm -hmm. We have to figure that out right right after the pain. Do you not remember? No, I'm very confused now. Yeah, because after the pain, we get to that little, like, creek with mm -hmm. the random floating guys. Yeah. And then after that uh, is the split, where we either go one way and get the sniper, or... Oh, you mean the end, the end. Yeah. I think that, like, the end of the game. No, the, yeah, the... That's why I was very confused. I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> Okay. I don't think there's anybody here right now. Nobody would go near her is what the what Zero said, so. I mean that's what he said. Alright, well we have a Damn! Kick it! No, what are you doing? Yes. You're right. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. My neighbors are, or upstairs neighbors are, playing loud music. Oh. I think. It is a Saturday night. It's a Saturday night. It's only 9.47 also, so. This is true. Alright, bug juice. There's another one. It's like the zombie <gasps> face. Zombie! Isn't there shit underneath? Underneath the the place? I think so. Mhm. Mm Other than rats. <gasps> oh right, these are the bird. The aren't these like the magpies you can p probably get? Or crows? Eat? Yeah. Well, you can catch them. Yeah. All right. Think I jump from here, or do you think I walk on the bar? I think you're supposed to jump. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Seaboxy. Seaboxy. Hey, there it is. Oh, hey, yeah. I missed all of that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll check down here. Yeah. Though I guess I'll be down here soon. That's true, I forgot about that. Um... Ryan, you falling asleep on us? No. Still okay. here. Alright. <laughs> if you're quiet for a while, I just assume. <laughs> I'm like, oh, he's probably passed out. Sorry. No, you're okay. Come here. I mean, go. riveting crawling action is happening, so. <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess there's nothing down here, though. Cannot climb over that. 
cannot vault. Hello? 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 Snake eater? Snake eater? Snack? Snape eater. <gasps> Sorry, I'm late. Cut the engine. They'll hear us. Are you the agent they sent? He didn't do the R1. Are you I thought you were supposed to be a man. Adam oh, shoot. Yeah, it's too late now. Yeah. All right, say the password. <laughs> Who are the Patriots? Who are the Patriots? The. Answer me. Is he Tom Brady? Trapped. Gronkowski. Get down! Uh-huh. <laughs> guy's just spraying and praying. <laughs> yeah. That's the red nine. There is your answer. It's a Mauser. No, totally red nine. Mm -hmm. Maybe a red nine is a Mauser. Impossible. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Boop. Up goes her hair. <laughs> Don't worry, Katie, I'll get this one. No. You said. No, you missed the original one. <laughs> the name's <laughs> just... Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Snake is Dumbass. Just... What? Boobs. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't understand. This wasn't part of the plan. What happened to Adam? What's your code name? It's Snake. Snake, huh? Well, I'm Eva. Are you here to tempt me? No. What happened to Adam? Colonel Volgan is a very suspicious man. He decided Adam wasn't the right person for this mission. And you were? Yes. Why? Because I can do things he can't. Like what? I heard you used to be a codebreaker <laughs> for the NSA. I was. Four years ago, I defected to the Soviet Union with Adam. Mauser military. Red nine. Oh, handle. <laughs> it packs quite a punch. Nice to have when you're on a bike. You held it sideways and used the muzzle jump to create a horizontal sweep. That was impressive. Bet you've never like seen that technique in the West. It's imitation, isn't it? Yeah. It's a Chinese Type 17 pistol. Around here, even that's hard to come by. Don't worry, though. The one I've got for you is American-made. Forty-five, huh? Ooh! <laughs> Christmas! Oh, shit. Incredible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The feeding ramp is polished to a mirror sheen. The slide's been reinforced. You should be able to hit R1 here and just see him ogling the gun. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Thumb safety is extended to make it easier on the finger. A long type trigger with non slip grooves. A ring hammer. The base of the trigger guard's been filed down for a higher grip. And not only that, nearly every part of this gun has been expertly crafted and customized. Boop. Where 
did you get something like this? I grabbed Found it. Western munitions armory. It probably used to belong to one of your officers. And there are more <laughs> eBay. <that came> from. <laughs> you had this with you, didn't you? Better take this too. What's that? A disguise to make you look like a scientist. A disguise? Yes. You're here to rescue Sokolov, right? Sokolov's still safe, then? Yes. He's being forced to continue his work on the Shagohat. Where? At the lab. They've got a whole army of scientists there developing new weapons. Security is tight, but if you disguise yourself as a scientist, you might be able to sneak in. Can we get Sokolov out of there? We'll see, won't we? Tell me how to get to the lab. The safest way in is from the rear. First, you'll need to head north through the jungle. You'll come to a heliport used for shipping materials. Pass the heliport and continue north and there will be a large crevice. Descend into that area and you'll reach a cave. Move through the cave and you will arrive at a mangrove swamp. After the swamp, there'll be a warehouse. Make your way through the warehouse and you'll come out just south of the lab. Got it. And just what are you doing there? <laughs> In close range combat, a knife can sometimes be more useful than a gun. By doing this, I'll be able to hold a knife at the same time and still keep the gun steady. That way, I can instantly switch between a gun battle and a knife fight. Right, let's get going. Whatever. <laughs> anyway. You must be tired. Why don't you take a little rest? I'll be fine. You'll never make it in your condition. It's a jungle out there. It's Literally. An hour before dawn. It's dangerous to be out in the jungle at night without a guide. What about you? I have to get back. I can't be gone for too long. They'll start to suspect something. Don't worry. I'll keep you updated over the radio. That's it? My orders are to provide you with information. Nothing more. Hmm. You look disappointed. All right, then. I'll do something special for you. Here's a macaroni painting I made. <laughs> I'll stand watch until dawn. Now be a good boy and lie down. Yes. What's the matter? I don't know you well enough to trust you. How well do you have to know me to trust me? I don't know if I All can right, I'm going anyone. to bed. <laughs> <laughs> gonna get that? She's right, Snake. You should get some sleep. Although, in your condition, you really ought to be back in the ICU. Whenever you save the game and quit, you'll go to sleep. Sleeping allows you to gain back stamina naturally. Depending on how long you sleep, you may also recover naturally from sickness and injury. When you're tired or hurt, the best thing to do is just get some sleep. So do yourself a favor and take a nap. Doctor's orders, okay? Yeah, okay. There is one, uh, one bit I want to get to. It's not even a, a cutscene. It's one item I want to get to. Okay. And then we'll probably wrap things up. It's definitely after this next part. Yes. This next part's good. Me, 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 me. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Mirashin. 
pronounce that grooves. He's talking about the gun as he's <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> Oh, hmm. there's a secret one here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. But uh, either way, I guess. <laughs> Can't escape that one. Yeah, that one's not great. Huh? I think there's another one coming. What's the matter? We're surrounded. I see four of them. We've got company. Uh -huh. It's the Ocelot unit. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Hurry. <laughs> that one's kind of funny. Don't That's stupid. He's such a dumbass. Yeah. Here, give me a hand. I don't understand. What are those? It's a life threatening situation, Snake. <laughs> yeah. Eyes up here, dude. <laughs> Boss is probably like. God. We can use this to get to the basement. Basement. I guess. Crawl space, I guess, is better. Yeah. That's a lot. I'll get past them on my bike. I'll call you later. Okay. I'll keep them busy. Huh? Don't go dying on me now. What was that? Uh, I well, literally, don't what understand. Was that? Gotta get this disinfected now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <sighs> um, isn't there something I can do with the stun grenade? Like, right off the bat? Like, once that opens? I eh, maybe not. I feel I'm like, gonna... yes. I'm just gonna go. I think I could throw it out there and get a, a good chunk of them. Yeah, I think you get, like, four or five of them if once they get close to the door. Yeah, they're inside now. They try to get me too. But now we have... That one, and then I think I have the other one now too. Which I think I just A1 to... steak sauce. <laughs> uh, yeah, the hush puppy. Hush puppy! They'll come this way. Yeah. And when they do... Oh, <laughs> it's a lot of them. A lot of them. Well. I'm trying! You're in the way! Man. Yeah. You can see his heartbeat. There's one. There's two. Mm-hmm. What's wrong? There you go. Right in the knees. Ow. Yeah. Oh. Nothing here. Man, the mosquitoes are biting today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I heard one more, huh? Okay. Ooh, that is, uh, that's Robin from... I forgot what his name is, the actual voice actor. That's Robin from Teen Titans, though. I forgot they did some of the... Oh, did they? Voice. He did some, oh. of, the, some of the, uh... 
the uh, the goons, the grunts, let's say. Yeah, you can really hear it when I'm like punching him, like the Bleh! sort of sound that he does, uh, or that they do. Um, mm -hmm. Sounds a lot like him. All right, so that's half of them. <laughs> yeah. Just like. Uh, stun gunning them. Oh, yeah. Let's see if I can do this. There's one up there. Oh, yeah, there's the guy at the top. <clears throat> and, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Let's see. Do have a box, mm -hmm. I believe. Should pull that out. I like this fight, or this whatever. I don't know if you want to call it a fight, but this little bit encounter. Yeah. Uh, we could put away the binox for now, and just have that on hand just in case. I do like that there's a designated button for sneak, and they don't just mm -hmm. expect you to do uh, analog control for it. Yeah. Where you just have like a guaranteed, okay, no, if you use this button, you will be walking quietly. Oh. Here. Yeah, here's someone. Yeah, I think he's on the other side of the wall. Not this wall, but... Or I think these on the other side of the. Um, I think there's a couple over there. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Right oh, there. yep, yep, yep. Yep. Let me see if I can sneak over. Yeah. yeah. No. He yep. won't. Oh, maybe he does. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I heard uh, one of the other ones say, oh, oh my god. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, I think they're actually both over here. I hope so. I know there's some on the side. Yeah, there's one. Or at least one. Yeah, come check them out. <laughs> Oh, is he coming for me? I don't know if he saw you or him. I see him. Ah, almost perfect. Yeah, you blew it. Nice. Sleep tight. Where's the other dude? That one I know. Is it the guy on the roof? No, I got him. Well, it was with the... Uh... Is that with the grenade you got him? Yeah. Oh, he's on the around the corner, isn't he? Yep. Or maybe it is the one on the roof. <laughs> There's a body over here. <gasps> oh, you're right. Is he dead? Shit, oh, maybe man. it is the. No, you stunned him. Yeah, but if I stunned him and he fell, I'm pretty sure he'd be dead. <gasps> oh, maybe. Whoops. Oopsie. That one was an accidental death. That one wasn't mine. That's like a Batman death. That is a Batman death. That kills a goon. All right, let's go. Well, yeah, that was. Yeah, because he would have been right there. Yep. Aw, oh, shit. Whoopsie doodle. Oh, well. Where is this last one? Hey, it's not. I mean, we didn't shoot him. Yeah. Nor did we really throw a projectile at him. He, I think he's over by the entrance. Okay. That sounds right. Yeah. Because I remember there being at least Ooh. one or two guys. Oh, yeah. 
The Mind D. Mind D. Oh my god, that scared me for some reason, thinking it was a guy right there. What, the these? The tanks, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. That got me too. Before. Whoop. I feel like he's just like on the other side of something. There. There he is. <laughs> Action roll. Let's give him a little one of these. Hmm? 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 Ah. All but one. Dang. And only one alarm. They're all having a nice little nap over here. <laughs> yeah, they are. Well, that unit, it's time for school. <laughs> <laughs> Kit's like murder. Murder. <laughs> <laughs> now do it again. I've been waiting for this moment. That's it. That's the stance. I don't think so. What? A female spy? This bitch is wearing perfume. You're a very egotistical woman. <laughs> Stay where you are. I've had enough of your judo. I see you've got yourself a single action army. That's right. There'll be no accidents this time. You call that an accident? Well, it wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been showing off. What did you say? It's a nice gun, I'll give you that. But the engraving gives you no tactical advantage whatsoever. Unless you were planning to auction it off as a collector's item. And you're forgetting one more very basic thing. You don't have what it takes to kill me. We'll see. I think we're just gonna yeah. be able to do. <laughs> you dork. Six shots. That thing only carries six shots. The Makarov carries eight. You have to get a feel for how many you have left. This is a high class weapon, it's not meant for shooting people. <laughs> this isn't over yet. Don't. Why? He's still young. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Go buy a better one. I've got to get that before he does. <laughs> I forgot about like the roars. Yeah. That's good. 
Uh, um, you know, Ocelot is like after the first encounter with Snake, he's going to go to like a shop, and he's like, "I'll show him. I'll get a better and cooler gun that, and then he'll, the, then he won't be able to stop me." Yeah, he's such a baby. I love he's him. So excited to show you with his engravings and everything like that. You yeah. just shit on him. He's all like, "Oh." Actually, that gun sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Only a loser would have bought that. <laughs> Hope you didn't spend oh. money on that. I uh, can only the, imagine how many single action armies they actually have in Russia, though. Right. The like the, easily accessible. The character progression of Ocelot in this uh, this game is really good. Yeah, it's it is really good. And how they like incorporate that into like boss battles and stuff. Yeah. Okay. He's such a baby, but I love him. He's a big idiot. He is a big idiot. But he's our idiot, <laughs> and that's all that matters. He's a big idiot and he continues to be one in the late in like the rest of the series once you kinda go past the Oh god, yeah. Uh the fact for his conniving ways in two. Ah, the prud. I mean Oh yeah, Ocelot is completely amazing in this game. I love them. <laughs> I love Ocelot. Ocelot is probably my favorite Ooh. like character over all the series. Even in four. I don't even care it's liquid <laughs> ocelot. It's still an ocelot. Uh okay. One thing I'm gonna do it's so real quick. Fucking ridiculous. We're gonna take away my uh, da, da, da. this one and take that out. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have opened um, Metal Gear Five on my birthday. I didn't do that this year. Oh, that's right. I think I could just. I want all those dorks to sing to me. <laughs> <gasps> Look, there's a red froggy. There he goes. It's a poison frog. Oh, and there's a gator. <laughs> we'll be fine. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, no, you were <laughs> <show. laughs> <laughs> You gotta you gotta swim at the bottom for that uh, thing though, because isn't it down towards the bottom of this area? Is it? I thought it was up on. I thought I had to do some crazy tree climbing. Oh, you're right. You're yeah. right. But yeah, it's yeah. over this lake. It's this, yeah. Ugh. The gators. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <gasps> Fish. Gator combat. I know mm -hmm. what an arowana is because of this game, and every time I get one in um. Animal Crossing, I'm, I'm excited. Oh, he's uh, hilarious in 4 and 5. Like... Who, Ocelot? Yeah! Yeah, he's good. He's really good. He's really good! It's a Russian taunt. Oh, Jesus Christ. I was thinking about getting that shirt. <laughs> I want to get that shirt. I should have put that on my birthday list, too. Oh, we got a leech. Ew. Let's burn it off. There we go. That's why I put the bug spray on, but... Snake, are you there? Eva? No. Did you miss me? Was Pop? Did you make it without any trouble? No one saw me. So what up? <laughs> In a matter of speaking. What about the boss? Yeah, she's here too. Better be careful. Thanks, I will. The boss and I get along pretty well, though. I guess we traitors have a lot in common. Why would anyone want to defect? Betraying your country like that, I, I just don't get it. Hey, Tarks. Are you talking about the boss? Why'd you do it? Weren't you born and raised in America? Yes, in a small rural town. I never even knew there small were other countries. Small non-script rural other town. Cultures, other ways of thinking. Mm -hmm. Until I went to work for the NSA. And one day, America I City. I lost faith in the things I'd been taking <clears> for granted. What did you see? In America, USA. What was it that made you want to US, change sides? USA, America, <laughs> city, <laughs> town. Try me. I saw the universe. 
the universe. Hey, same. What? Try again. <laughs> the universe as the intelligence community sees it. I realized that the gravity in this universe was holding me back. That's all. People and countries are both changed by their environment. And by the times. That sounds like what the boss was saying. There's a world of difference between this country and America. But it's only a difference of position. A difference of perspective. Coming here made me realize something. Half of what I'd been told was a complete and utter lie. The other half was a conveniently constructed lie. Where's the truth then? No. Oh. It's hidden in the lies. Are you lying too? Who knows? Duh. I've been trained to make even the most severe falsehood sound like the honest truth. Maybe you're a spy. Weren't you? Or you're a spy. No. I. We could do this all day. Because I have to. Even if it is a lie. That's part of my mission. I'll have to remember that. If you need me, give me a call on the radio. My frequency is 142.52. See ya. Later. Later. Noodles. <laughs> All right, so this is important. Cow. Uh, let's eat something real quick, though. But yes, agreed. Let us do this. Twirling, twirling, twirling <laughs> towards freedom. <laughs> that should be enough. Do, 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 do. Do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's eat something. Hell yeah! Ralph called. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, oh, actually, let's give... Before we eat anything, we need to call Medic sometimes. Mm -hmm. Para-Medic. I see you've caught a King Cobra. Hell yeah. The King mm -hmm. Cobra is the world's largest venomous snake. Its large size means that it has a lot of venom to inject. One bite is supposedly enough to kill an elephant. And it's extremely vicious as well, so watch out. If you get bitten by a king cobra and injected with venom, your life will start to decrease rapidly. As soon as you're bitten, go into the survival viewer and use cure to give yourself a serum injection. The king cobra's diet consists mostly of other snakes. Be careful, or you might end up as its next meal. Um, when I eat Taco Bell, my life uh, depletes rapidly, too. Yeah. I see you've caught a coral I, I mean, a milk snake. The milk snake closely resembles the coral snake, but it's actually not venomous. Even so, you'll still take damage if it bites That's you. supposed so to be the picture? Close. Hmm. Yeah, why is there a knife? Is there a way to I think you need to go the other way. Milk snake and a coral snake. No, that's it. It's pretty oh, weird. Difficult. They that's really it. do look almost exactly alike. Oops. I guess if I had to pick something, I'd say it's that the milk snake nice is knife, much dude. less aggressive. Okay. Ah, I just thought of a better way. You're going to love this. What? Eat it. Eat it? Yeah. The guide says milk snakes don't taste very good. Is that right? But if I've already caught and eaten it, what does it matter which kind of snake it was? It doesn't, does it? Shoot, I thought I had a good idea. <laughs> snake, that's the knife snake. <laughs> that's the knife snake. <laughs> hey, snake. Remember back at the abandoned factory when you whittled the grip of that 45 down? Yeah. I've never heard of a customization like that before. Why the grip? To fit it with a knife. A knife? You're going to keep the knife and the gun both at the ready? That's the idea. Why would you want to do that? Sometimes a knife works better in close proximity encounters. So I equip both at the same time. That way I can switch back and forth in an instant. Badass. So that's that. CQC. Let's save too. Saving the game, Snake? Mm -hmm. We'll save again shortly, but I'm kind of hoping we run into one of the conversations. Uh. Uh. Yeah, I don't know why that's, that knife was there. <laughs> Snake, do you know the creature from the Black Lagoon? Nope. Never heard of it. These scientists are investigating a place deep in the Amazon called the Black Lagoon, and they get picked off one after the other by this fishman thing. 
And there was the scene when the heroine is going for a swim and the creature sneaks up on her from underwater. Oh, I thought my heart was going to stop. I mean, of course, the 3D effects in It Came From Outer Space were a lot more intense, but... It wouldn't be referring to you coming from outer space, would it? How rude! Why do you say that? Because no one on Earth could be as charming as you. I say... Fine, I'll just get to the point, Snake. Be careful of what's around you when you're in the water. She's like, just fuck off. <laughs> the jungle rivers makes me oh, Jesus Christ. Attacked by a fish man. <laughs> I appreciate the concern. Fishmen aren't the only things that'll attack you in the water. Really be careful out there. Okay. And don't be attacking any pretty girls going for a swim, either. Are you calling me a fish man? You started it. Alright. So, oh, yeah, we gotta eat something. We do have our calorie mate, which I've had in real life. They're yes, very good. they're good. Let's eat the king I mean, cobra, they're, so. They're not the best. No, they're very dry, but they're they're pretty yeah, good. Yeah, they're they're decent. This works. Yeah, it does. It does work. I'll try not to eat anything that we um oh, there's my throw up. Previously. <laughs> uh that we haven't had a call for yet. It's good if you use it or you can throw up when you poison yourself or you eat something bad. Yeah. And the gators will convene below us, I believe. Mm-hmm. All right. That should, that should do it. Ugh, it's scary every time. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I never trust myself with dropping. That gator's like, oh, tasty treat. Mangroves? Mangrove swamp. Mangrove swamp. What are the... Those aren't, like, actual called gators, though, I don't think. They're... No, I think gators are, like, Florida pretty much only, right? Yeah. It's, yeah, um... yeah, we did it. Yes. It's, a. Uh... <sighs> what the hell kind of crocodile is it? Um... X a little. No. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> now we're playing Metal Gear. Uh, who should we call with this one? Oh God! Um, Zero. Oh, too bad he couldn't call like the boss with it on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a call to do later with that though, but that's on a fresh file. Yeah. Looks like you've got rid of all the ocelots. Hmm. Yeah. Now yeah. proceed with the rescue of Sokolov. According to Eva, you should start by going to the crevice to the north and... Can we trust her? What's that? Eva is with the KGB, isn't she? Can I really believe what she says? How do I know she won't double-cross me? There are no guarantees in espionage, Snake. Only calculated guesses. At this point in time, the KGB stands nothing to gain by stabbing us in the back. So you're saying I can trust her? I'm saying the chance that she'll betray you is low. Ah... Uh. Of course, we checked the route she gave you against our own data. It looks like a pretty solid infiltration route. It makes good use of weak spots in the enemy's defenses. You shouldn't have any problems. Follow the route Eva showed you and proceed with the mission. Roger. First, enter the cave through the crevice. Eva said it was to the north, so head that way. Indian Gavial is the name of the... That's it. Crocodile. It's called Paramedic. I see you oh, caught okay. yourself a green tree python. Might have to go through a couple. <laughs> the green tree python isn't venomous, so no need to worry. It's fairly docile, too, so I don't think it's likely to attack you. The green tree python originally comes from Australia and New Zealand. It's a really pretty green color, and it lives... Oh, my God. What's wrong? Snake, what did I just say? They come from Australia and New Zealand. No, after that. They're a really pretty green color. I thought so. What was I thinking? Seeing a snake and calling it pretty? What's wrong with that? Everything. When a normal woman sees a snake, she's supposed to scream or get sick or something like that. And do you think you're normal? What was that? N nothing. <laughs> uh, it's all your fault. Jeez, I'm sorry. But enough of that. What do you mean, enough of that? This is serious. No, I... 
I just wanted you to tell me how it tastes. How should I know? <laughs> it was awfully pretty, though. <laughs> yeah, Kit says, I don't think Cal our gators are California or only, but we don't have Crocs here. Okay. Emotions. Yeah. For unbearable torment, the pain. For true oblivion, I like Crocs. the end. I like alligators. For infinite rage, the fury. Oh, alligators for live in the U.S. and China. Fear. And for unsurpassed okay. bliss, the joy. The joy. It's another name for the boss because of the joy she feels in battle, I suppose. Uh. During the war, she had yeah. a partner named the Sorrow. Yeah. Sorrow and joy. They say there couldn't have been a more perfect pair. Why isn't anybody talking about my cool croc hat? <laughs> that swamp zero. seems pretty deep. It's probably deep enough to uh. dive underwater huh? and swim around. I was like, talk to the zero, and then you did, and it didn't say anything. To dive underwater. The controls when you're underwater are quite different from when you're on land. The left stick. Can That's okay. Hold on, am I wearing it? I thought I was. You were? Yeah. 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 Come on, guys. Check this out. <laughs> All right, I'll give it a couple more tries. And... Snake, you'll be helpless if a crocodile attacks you in the water. You can't see behind you when you're swimming. So if you're in a crocodile-infested swamp, keep an eye. Yep. One more time, Major. Snake, what in God's name? How does it look? It looks cool. Huh? <laughs> it looks cool on you. It does? Yeah. I don't think cool is the right word. Why? What's wrong with it? What's wrong? Don't you think it looks silly? Doesn't it make you laugh? Aren't you going to ask me what the hell I was thinking? No. Huh. I think it really does look good. It reminds me of the alligator people. Oh, the... what? The alligator <laughs> people. It's a science fiction movie. You've never heard of it? No. Oh, well, you should see it sometime. It's about this guy who gets hurt in a car accident and tries to heal his wounds by injecting himself with a crocodile serum, but then his head turns into a crocodile head. You look just like him with the mask on. That's awesome! Right. <laughs> oh, never mind. I suppose you might be able to disguise yourself as a crocodile by wearing that cap and sticking your head out of the water. Uh, Snake, you said Eva right. said her Mauser was a Type 17, right? Yeah, what about it? That model was produced in the 1920s in a weapons lab in the Shangxi province in China. The cartridge part sticks out lower than the original to accommodate 45 caliber rounds. The barrel and chamber are a little bit thicker, too. But most telling of all, it's got Chinese characters engraved on both sides of the frame like you saw. And that firing stance Eva was talking about where you hold the gun horizontally? That's a trademark of the Chinese. I never called Sigan Just like you were when saying, I was... when you're firing in full no? auto mode, the Not muzzle really. jump effect gives you a horizontal strafing motion. They say it's especially deadly in indoor and close-range mop-up actions. The Japanese called it bandit shooting and used to dread it. Makes you wonder where she learned to shoot like that. All right. Uh, let's just get to the next area, and then I will save it, and then we'll call it there. Mm -hmm. But we got... We got the one. <laughs> we got the gator. Mouth bounces. <laughs> Those little mouth bounces up and down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Hey guys. Uh, we got another leech, but I'll take care of it. Yes. Uh, can I not use this one? Trying to let go. There we go. Okay. Ain't nobody here, so whatever. I forgot there's traps around here. Mm. There we go. I thought you were going to about to run into it again anyway. Yeah, that's the croc cat 
it's on the it's right above the big swamp thing that we were just at. You have to <laughs> climb up the tree and then shimmy over <laughs> on the ropes. Uh, <laughs> uh, I do love it. It's very good. Oh, it's great. All right. We'll do uh, and a then save. <laughs> Kit's like, I wonder where she learned to shoot the Chinese gun in the Chinese style. It is a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I guess we'll never know. Like, I don't know. Oh, the croc cap is the best. Mm -hmm. Especially when you can use it in the mangrove swamp and everything. Yeah. Snake, have you heard of It Came From Outer Space? Yeah, you told me already. So this astronomer sees a meteor, but it's really an alien spaceship, right? And the aliens start replacing the townspeople with clones and forcing them to help repair the ship. The 3D effects were quite realistic. I've got all the real I can handle here in the jungle. No, you don't get it. Precisely because it's realistic. With the images jumping out of the screen at you, it makes for a nice escape from reality. I have to admit it made my eyes tired, but it was really intense. Unfortunately, they don't make very many of those movies anymore. When did it come out? I was still in college, so probably about ten years ago? Guess I'm out of luck then. You know, they're coming out with household versions of video cassette recorders. One day you'll be able to see old movies anytime you want. It'll be like having a movie theater in your own home. Really? It's like if you had a record with movie film etched onto it instead of music. It'll work the same way. You're kidding. No, really. And someday they might make movies where you control the characters yourself. Sounds like magic. It'll happen. Make sure you stay alive to see it, Snake. And then people will start debating about it on this online service. <laughs> God. <laughs> Do you actually scare the guys when you crawl around with that? I can't remember. I don't think so. Only I think only in the uh, in the water. Let's get this off. Sniper Wolf have the best accent. I can barely remember. <laughs> Won't the cigar work? Yeah. Yeah. But you oh, need yeah. a cigar or knife. Stab the leech. All right. This game's great. I love this game. I'm happy we're playing it. It's so it was, good. It's like I, I, I did the work of doing Metal Gear Solid 2 to get to this one. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thanks for joining, Ryan and Katie. Yep. Um, yep. And we'll uh, we'll see you Tuesday with uh, Pikmin. Yeah, we're starting Pikmin. And then Thursday, Barkley. Yeah. And then probably next Friday, I'll, I'll see... Um, I'll be able to make sure... Um, I can do uh, Lego stream, but I'm pretty sure I can still do Lego stream Friday. So yeah, cool. Keep going on the T Rex. Um, but uh, have a good night. We'll see y'all later. Yep. Have a nice night. Bye bye.